Hey there, in this video we are going to look at adding and subtracting radical expressions using the algebraic concept of like terms. So looking at adding and subtracting radical expressions here, we're going to start with this expression over here. It's got four terms in it and the best thing to do here is make connection with what you most certainly already know from uh, working with algebraic expressions with variables like this term here, 3 root 5 minus 2 root 7 plus 4 root 5 plus root 7. If you think of the fact that these are just numbers, there's some number that we don't necessarily know the decimal approximation off the top of our head. If this said 3x minus 2y plus 4x plus y, I'm pretty confident you would know how you could simplify those because no matter what this number is, it's the same number. And if you have minus two of them and plus one of them, you can combine that together and make minus one of them. And if you have three of these X's and four more of them, all together you have seven times that number. So this expression simplifies to this. It's no different for what we have here. The only difference is uh, these aren't variables. They're these irrational numbers, square root of 5, square root of 7, square root of 5, square root of 7 there. So in exactly the same way, if we have 3 root 5 and we have plus 4 root 5, we can combine those together to make 7 root 5. It's just 7 times as much as root 5, just like before we had 7 times as much as x. And if we have minus 2 root 7 plus 1 root 7, we have minus 1 root 7, or just minus root 7. Now, just like before when we had 7x minus y, we couldn't combine those together because the numbers are different. x and y were different numbers there. These are different numbers. If you go to your calculator and get a decimal approximation, you'll see that, that they're different numbers. There's nothing more we can do to simplify this. This is as simple as it gets. Once we've combined the terms that are alike up there, that's as much as we can do. We're going to look at the second one here. Very similar in that there's four terms, but two of the terms here are whole numbers, non-radical terms. Uh, we have two like radicals here. We have 20 root 13 minus 2 root 13. We can combine that together and make 18 root 13. 18, 18 times what root 13 is. And then just like you would have done in the past. If you have plus 15 and plus 3, we can combine those together to make 18. Again, this is as simple as this can get. You can't combine those together in any way because they're two different numbers. Just like if you had 18x plus 18, you can't combine those together because they're different types of terms. All right? That's as simple as I can get. Now, down below here, we're going to look at one more expression. There's four different radical terms in that. So from what we've done so far, it looks like none of those are alike. So you might say, none of those are alike. There's nothing I can combine. You might think about it like x plus y plus z plus w or something like that, four different variables, and there's nothing you can do. True, with this, there's nothing you can do. But if we look more closely at this, a lot of these, if not all of them, if you look at them, can be simplified as in we can turn them into mixed radicals and then actually might reveal that there are some uh, like radicals that we can add together. So root 12 here. Root 12, we can make root four times three, or in other words, two root three. Square root of four is two, that we can bring that outside of the, the root sign. And root 20. Root 20, you can make root 4 times 5, or in other words, 2 root 5. Root 45. Root 45, you can make root of 9 times 5, which is going to leave you with root 9 is 3, 3 root 5. And then this last one here, minus root 75. 75, the biggest uh, perfect square factor in that is 25, 25 times three. 75 is 25 times three. Square root of 25 you know is five. 
and the 3 is going to stay underneath that square root sign. This expression is equivalent to this one. Now that you've made them into mixed radicals in simplest form, you can look and see, actually there are a couple of like terms here. The first one and the last one, 2 root 3 and minus 5 root 3 are alike, and you can combine them together. 2 root 3 minus 5 root 3 leaves you with negative 3 root 3. And then actually these two are alike as well. Plus 2 root 5 plus 3 root 5 is plus 5 root 5. All right? So this expression is about as simple as you can make this expression. All right? Make them all into mixed radicals in lowest terms in simplest form. And then you can really see if any of them are alike. Just incidentally, if you happen to be looking at this expression, if you don't happen to like that leading negative, this is the same as anything else here, any algebraic expression or numerical expression that you've seen before. You could reverse the order of that and make it 5 root 5 minus 3 root 3 if you wanted to. Either one of those are correct. They're the same expression. Right? So that is adding and subtracting radical expressions.